Well, what I'm trying to say is I don't think it should have even got to this point. There needs to be serious discussions from Rishi Sunak, Liz Truss on how they're going to sort inflation out because all that's happening is this is just going to spiral out of control. Even the governor of the Bank of England said the same, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, in an ideal world, what needs to be happening is a cap at the top to, to reduce the costs, but that doesn't seem possible or plausible at this stage. So instead, what we're dealing with is the consequences of that. Now, we saw over the weekend some talk about Liz Truss trying to um, cut VAT. Actually, I think that would be more inflationary than, than pay rises mm -hmm. um, because what you're doing then is you're encouraging people to spend more um, and, and obviously VAT cuts tend to benefit the people that spend more who are the higher earners. So I think, I think there are different ways of trying to deal with this situation. Actually, you know, as Eamon says, I, I'm, I'm not against people seeking a, a pay rise when we're dealing well, with no, double-digit inflation. Nobody is. I mean, clearly nobody is opposed to a fair day's wage for a fair day's work and we all understand that things are becoming unaffordable and people are making these awful decisions between eating and heating. Yeah. But I do come back to this argument that we are on this war footing. This is all caused by this war that's going on in Ukraine. Yes, that may do well we be the case. To, to that may well be the case, but I would I would like your opinion on this. The example that has been set by a lot of the directors and owners yes. of these companies yeah. and the workers. So, so, for instance, take the post office. They're, they're an example. They've been offered 2% while shareholder dividends and whatever have been absolutely astronomical. Mm -hmm. The water companies, the salaries paid to the people at the top there are not just good, they're indecently good. Mm -hmm. So this is, there is no relation. It's like footballers in the Premier League. Yeah. What the heck? How can anybody identify with a footballer in the Premier League on £350,000 a week? And this is, this is kind of the problem with the Royal Mail um, IPO that was always a bit of a mess to start off with. It was overvalued and it's been sort of problems ever since. And now we're looking at possible asset strippers coming in to take over, maybe for, foreign investors, foreign owners coming in to take over. And that will just mean more money taken out of the country, out of the system. The work is not being paid, but, but where's the benefit to the country? It doesn't seem to be there. And that's the same sort of situation that we've had with Felix Stowe mm -hmm. and many of the other companies.